Hello, everybody, and welcome. Joining me today is Sarah Smitha with Candy Mountain Music. Super excited to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm excited too. Yes, we've got some great information coming up. If you guys haven't heard about Playthink University, that's what we're talking about today, not just all the offerings, but specifically Miss Sarah's offerings and how she is impacting the world around us using music and just incorporating that with kids play, the bondage between parents and kids alike. Um, she has been nominated at least four years in a row as the best music for kids around in Lexington. She is doing some wonderful things right now. I mean, every week with families. And so we're just really excited to welcome her and to have her with us. She's a mom, a singer, a music teacher, even a former local DJ from Lexington. Um, you guys may have caught her play based music before. If not, she's teaching to infants up to age seven. And she's been doing this for at least eight years. Uh, that's kind of where Kenny Mountain Music came from. And so we just wanted to talk about that today and talk about why you're doing that, how people can get involved and what they're gonna learn when they start working with you in these classes you're gonna be offering. Yeah, uh, first of all, I am super excited to be involved in PlayThink University. So thank you um, for not only thinking about me, but for thinking about the families that have children um, that are involving them in all this as well. I think that that is very, very important. Um, so yeah, well, I'm gonna be offering musical play or play-based music and movement for children. Um, I like to say zero to seven because even those with young babies can watch and kind of learn these songs and learn these rhymes um, and kind of allow the, the osmosis of the joy to connect uh, with them and their children. And, um, you know, kind of transfer that on to even the youngest babies. Um, yeah. yeah. I love that. And so when it comes to, to working with kids and it comes to music, I mean, you're creating a lot of your own original music and the way you're working with kids is they can have instruments or they can use things around their house, right? You can just about use anything to create music in lots of ways and you're incorporating all sorts of things when it comes to that with families, right? Yeah, so specifically for PlayThink University, I wanted to make these classes accessible. So um, in a lot of my other classes, um, there I have a subscription box that I'm sure we'll talk about later on, um, where they're getting specific instruments every month and things like that. But for PlayThink University, I wanted to kind of streamline the accessibility to it. And so we're going to be using um, these particular instruments and props every single class. Um, and those are going to be two rhythm sticks, and if you don't have two rhythm sticks, drumsticks, wooden spoons, plastic spoons. Um, I've had families go outside and just find two sticks from the yard. I did a, a, a class for a, a forest school and that's what they all did. It worked perfectly. So two rhythm sticks for every class. Um, I'm gonna use two egg shakers at every class to do some play-based stuff. Um, again, they can make this stuff. So it can be um, a super kind of homemade craft type thing. And then some type of scarf, bandana, uh, t-shirt, cloth napkin. Again, it doesn't have to be um, these specific things. You can just use things from your house, but those are the things we're going to be working with. Um, I mean, I love, so I have a niece who is three and a nephew who is seven. I also have one that's four and six. And so I love seeing them get excited and interact in all these ways. And oh my goodness, we were so excited to download just your first video for January's offering. And, and as we're downloading, seeing my nieces, I light up and get excited at the fact that she can learn and play and grow with Miss Sarah is just really exciting. I like that you brought up this family aspect um, just to kind of, I didn't even really touch this point at the beginning. Um, and I forgot to say, hello, my name is Amy Kreitz uh, <laughs> of PlayFeet University. I was really excited and, and just thrilled to have you on here today. But you've been working with PlayFeet for a long time. And so with your music background, connecting with kids, growing with kids, um, your, your kid, yourself, Clover, she's kind of grown up and learned a lot there. And not just her, you have another child as well. And so... Yeah. Um, what when it comes to this community aspect what's most exciting for you in working with families and kids you know i'm going to go into kind of a whole other tangent of, of of something that you may not even 
think that I'm going to go down. Um, the kids obviously bring an experience and participate in a sense of joy that is contagious to me mm -hmm. and for everyone. Mm -hmm. And for me, as an adult that has suffered with depression, anxiety, self-worth, all kinds of things, especially from um, a lot of childhood trauma that I've experienced myself, um, this has been my healing path. This has been part of my therapy and my inner child work to access the curiosity, the wonder, the um, invitation to experience the present moment and joy just for the experience of it. And my favorite part of, of doing this has been the adults reactions yeah. to playing alongside their child. And, you know, I want to, in the same theme, invite people that might not even have young children, but that are a part of Playthink University mm -hmm. to watch these videos yeah. and see what comes up and see what is allowed you know, the, the, you know, that you're allowing yourself to kind of participate in. I've had parents in studio come up to me time and time and time again and just say, thank you for yes. today's class. I, I'm going through some heavy stuff or um, I'm having postpartum depression and I don't even know how to relate to my child. I'm not even sure if I like my child. Mm you offering this space in this community has allowed me to go into that. And so my favorite part has been healing the inner child of myself and other parents and caregivers who, yeah. who have given their self permission to be a kid, to be a kid. There, there's so much powerfulness in everything that you just said, and I resonate with that on so many levels, because when I first watched um, some of your videos you were doing for free on Facebook, the four of your music boxes, which I do want us to talk about, um, I lit up inside. It literally evoked the inner child inside, and, and depression, anxiety, um, ADHD type you know, things are things that I've dealt with in my life. I, you know, I've gone through uh, concussion and rehabbing to figure out how to function emotionally. And so when, when you bring up the healing aspect that takes place in play and music and that connection, it just runs deep. I, it hits my heart. And I'm sure that the people that are watching this, it's probably hitting home with them too. I'm like trying not to get teary eyed over here because um, you know, that has been for me for plaything has been that beautiful aspect of being able to connect on that level of being present. I just, I spoke about that earlier in a live video. And so, wow, I didn't know you were going to go there, but that was so perfect. Yeah. And, and I, and I, you know, thank you for allowing me to go there because that's a big part of the energy that I bring. You know, I remember I had one mom message me, uh, this was a couple of months ago, and they were watching reruns of some of the Facebook live classes that I had done. And I guess their child had left the room or something that just kept playing. And she walked in the room and her husband was just sitting there watching it, you know, and, and she was like, Hey, what are you doing? And he goes, I don't know why I'm still watching this, but I just can't stop watching this. <laughs> it sucks you in. It's giving that, you said it, it's giving yourself permission to evoke that child inside and that yeah. way. And so, you know, whether it's for kids or adults, this is something everybody can connect and gain from. And so whether they do that, you know, through through Playthink University, they're going to get access to one of your classes a month. Um, we're going to let them know, just like you did in this video, the things they need. Um, they can also take advantage of your music boxes, which is not just giving them access to a class, but they're actually getting a tangible instrument they can bring home. And I want to open up space for you to talk about that and let people know how they can connect with you through that. So whether they connect to you through Playthink University or Caney Mountain Music, they need to connect with you <laughs> because you are amazing and having your energy and your influence in their life. I know like my own is just... Um, it is contagious, just like kids' joy is contagious, and we were talking about that earlier. So how can they connect with you? Tell them more about the music boxes and the things you have going on. 
Yeah, sure. So the subscription boxes um, or the monthly music boxes, I guess is kind of what they are now. They'll be moving into subscription boxes shortly. Um, came as kind of, you know, I, I always say that I always pivot kind of by accident. I just kind of go with the flow in my business. I always have, and then things just kind of happen. So um, when COVID hit and quarantine hit, I obviously moved out of the studio. I I've been an in-studio, in-school kids music teacher for the past eight years. Um, and I, I wanted so badly to connect with, with children. Uh, I started offering three Facebook Live video classes a week. I did that all the way from mid-March up until June. Every single week I showed up and did, and did three classes. Um, and then I met people from all over the country doing that. And so we wanted to kind of be able to kind of connect more. Um, and I offered monthly music boxes, which have an instrument of the month, and then a bunch of props, and then different materials for different play-based um, kind of Montessori hands-on type activities they can do with that theme. And then they have access to um, those kind of themed music classes to kind of play along with the box. Um, so for example, with the winter box um, came with snowballs. We had a virtual snowball fight, the um, best. Um, a little penguin that they got to kind of take care of um, and make slides for, for and all kinds of stuff like that. And then the instrument of the month for that one was a triangle. So again, yeah. the monthly music boxes just kind of take what I'm doing and just kind of expand it a little bit more. And they can check out my Facebook page, which is Candy Mountain Music, to find information about that. Yeah. Um, but the same energy and all of that will be brought to Playthink University in a nice kind of streamlined way. Again, if you're not wanting that kind of monthly thing with new stuff every month um, and you're just wanting to kind of stick to um, just the, the instruments and the props that you need, uh, that, that'd be kind of a great way to experience it. Yeah. I think it's like them getting a little bit of taste of Miss Sarah every month yeah. when they subscribe to Playthink University. They get that energy, they get that connection. And then if they want to go that step further, really and really ingrain that and bring that home and have that connection, I mean, the subscription boxes is a way for them to go, the yeah. music boxes. And for so sure. I love that they're going to have those options. And I love that you were a part of this community. You've been a part of the Faith and community for a long time. And um, just this year, you and I have got to connect for our first time. And that's one thing that's amazing about the community. It is, um, it's, a, it's a small yet big community. It's, you know, a small and unique in that way, but it's also large to where it's getting to know each other um, can be hard in five days time. And so I'm hopeful, we're hopeful, Paige and I, when we came together to bring this um, 365 access of play theme to people at home, is that people can get that deeper connection with you guys throughout the year, so that when we come back together for the festival, that everybody can have that deeper connection there too. And that we can just continue to grow together. So we just we love that you are are a part of this. We love that you are providing a class for people to learn from once a month within Faith and University. And we just think it's going to be a great way for everyone to connect, um, all ages, really. Absolutely. So hey, can we end with an activity? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> activity. Cool. So um, yeah, so this is a fun one that I do with my singing in the kitchen lesson plan. Um, and it's just going to really kind of walk you through um, how we're taking these musical concepts and teaching them through play based uh, interaction. So I have a scarf. Do you have a scarf or a bandana? <laughs> Cool. So I always like to kind of wake it up first and that gives the children a, a um, so when you when you give children something when they first kind of hold on to something, um, you want them to be able to immediately play with it right because they're going to be super anxious to do something with it. So we always wake it up. Yes, exactly like that. So we always shake it shake. And shake and shake and shake, shake and 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 stop. Okay, so uh, for this one, we're going to kind of break it down and then put it all together. So breaking it down first, we're going to put it on our head and say, on top, on top, just put it on your uh -huh. head, on top, yep, uh -huh. and you can take it off again. And then we'll use that cue, on top, on top, right? And take it off again, we'll do it one more. So they're connecting on top to putting it on their head, on top, on top, perfect. Okay, and I'm just gonna go right into it goes like this, on top 
of spaghetti all covered with cheese. Okay, I like to add a lot of cheese. So go ahead and sprinkle a lot of cheese on top. Oh, that's good. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. All right, you ready? Ah, ah. It rolled over here. And then it rolled over there. Okay, now we're gonna make a meatball. Squish it up, squish it up into a ball. And then my poor meatball flew up in the air. Yay! Yes! Oh my <laughs> goodness, that is so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Thank you so much. That is yeah, a blast. Absolutely. How can, how can anybody not fall in love with <laughs> everything you're doing right now? I just love it. And we're just so grateful for you. I can't wait to see just everything continue to unfold that you are creating for everyone around you in that service of healing and spreading joy and play through that process. Thank just you, Amy. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Appreciate you too. University.com for anybody who wants to take advantage of that subscription. Classes are starting January 1st. You're going to access Miss Sarah's class, this music play that anyone can take advantage of and invoke that inner child or bond with your children, nieces, nephews, or just yourself, really. Uh, we'll have a lot of other classes that you can gain access as well. And then Sarah, did you want to end with a little special something? Yeah, I'd love to. So we talked about the props that you guys will need for uh, to play the musical play with me in Playthink University. And I would like to gift five families um, everything that you need to play with me. So this is a little pack that has the rhythm sticks, the egg shakers, and this scarf. So the next five families that go ahead and sign up for Playthink University. Remember, you don't only get access to what I'm doing, but you get access to everything else too. Um, so go ahead and do that and then message me and let me know and I'll communicate with them and we will get all the props to you. So you'll be ready to go in January. That's right. Thank you so much. So the first five people that see this video subscribe, let us know that you subscribed to Sarah, that you subscribed. We'll confirm it and then you're going to win some beautiful, wonderful props you can take advantage of this January. Thank you for that generous offer to the first five people. Absolutely. We really appreciate you and just can't wait to continue to work with you and see you shine in the world and, and share this. Um, play truly is healing and we can do it in so many ways. So we love that you are doing it through music and helping us to get back in touch with that inner child. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> uh, Sarah, have a wonderful day. Thank you, Amy. Bye. Absolutely. And anyone who joins us, we want to hear from you. Make sure to let us know where you're tuning in from and say hello in the comments below. And we'll see you all very soon. Bye, Sarah. Bye.